Sagittarius. I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is gonna be a reading just on the spot, all right? It's a new moon, look at this. And we got the goddamn moon. And we got another significant symbol of new. Go figure. This always happens. It's like I got thoughts in my head and they just manifest through tarot. And that's essentially what happens. Let me explain something to you. The messages that I'm channeling, they are actually inside of me before they manifest in the cards. So when I'm talking and I intuitively pick something up and then the card manifests, is because the energy is channeling through me and this is simply the materialization of the energy that is channeling through me. Just so that, well, then again, this is my theory, right? I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna proclaim, this is the truth, ladies and gents, when we're talking about something that is incomprehensible to a degree, okay? This is, like I said, this is my intuitive uh, translation or my intuitive interpretation of what's taking place here. But as you guys will see, you'll see me talk about something and then they'll fucking manifest in the cards. All right, <clears throat> so let's see. This is gonna be a love reading, Sagittarius. Let's get into this. Let's see what's going on. What is the overall energy here that you guys are gonna be dealing with? <clears throat> let's see what's going on here. Just get, let's tune into some energies that we haven't seen before. Let's get a message of guidance. Let's get a message of clarity for the Sagittarians that need a message. All right, so I don't wanna tune into the happy, to the go lucky Sagittarian. I wanna, I wanna connect with those that need some clarity, some truth, some insight. That's who I want to connect to. All right, what's going on with these Sagittarians? What's going on with those Sagittarians? Let's get three more shuffles and jump straight in, looking, looking into the overall energies that you are dealing with, Sagittarius, and then we're going to be tuning in to your specific energies, as well as the energies of the person that you may be having on your mind. All right, guys, be patient with me, all right? When I feel that I need to shuffle more, I got to give it. I got to do it. What's going on, Sagittarius? Okay, here we go. Let's tune in. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Jupiterian energy. That is you, ladies and gents. We are tuned in. Ace of Coins. Right off the rip. Okay? Knight of Coins. And the Three of Coins, ladies and gents. So there's a turn of events here. There's a massive turn of events that I'm seeing here that is going to lead towards joy. Hmm. You've been manifesting a blessing to enter your life. You've been uh, in a position where you've been having a been strong, so it seems. Possibly been lacking direction when it comes to a relationship, all right? Possibly didn't have clarity in regards to where this was going, what to even do about it. <clears throat> a lot of contemplation here. Let me see. Let me get energized real quick. Mm. All right, Sagittarius, this is my second espresso cup. So I'm about to get off the chain, all right? Let's see what's going on with this ace. The devil, wow. Somebody here has been very, 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 very attached to the situation, all right? Somebody here has been at a distance, all right? They've been at a distance here, reminiscing. They've been thinking about this situation heavily, desirous of a new beginning, hence the devil energy. But <clears throat> I'm seeing it take place. Let's see what's going on. Let's dig deeper. <clears throat> Let's dig deeper. Let's dig deeper. Seven of Cups, Jesus. All right, a lot of confusion. There was a lot of confusion here surrounding this individual that I'm tuning into. All right, but there's, like I said, a huge inclination in wanting to come forward, Ace of Swords, wanting to come forward, communicate, have some sort of breakthrough. All right, this could be you, Sagittarius, could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. <clears throat> yeah, there's just a lot of disappointment that ensued in this situation is what I'm seeing here, but let me get one last card here to clarify this ace of coins what does it say is this this is somebody coming forward this is somebody coming forward and actually moving something all right look at this the ace of cups this is movement ladies and gents so from all this stagnancy from all this confusion from all this depressive energy fuck that somebody here is clearing the air all right they're being reignited here with their own feelings they're getting the clarity come on buddy come on they're getting, you see, this is reignition of their feelings, okay? This is, the, this is the confusion being cleared up. And this is them acting upon their deepest desires. Wow. All right, let's tune in. <clears throat> let's see what's going on here. Somebody. I get the sense some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign, okay? A lot of Capricorn energy, but it could be a Virgo. Say, all right, uh, or a Taurus as well. Wow, look at them. We got the, we got the Queen of Cups here. So yeah, some of you guys are definitely dealing with an earth sign here. Doesn't have to be, but let's tune in. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius, you guys are slowly but surely becoming my favorite sign. And I say becoming, and you're not my favorite sign because I'm an Aries and obviously I, I fucking love myself, right? And then you, you got to give it to Aries. I mean, Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac. <clears throat> and the world, imagine the world without Aries. Imagine the world without the chaos, without this Mars energy. Anyways, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> let's go and see what's going on with Sagittarius. What is going on here with this Knight of Coins? The moon energy. Yeah, somebody here is taking their time walking to the obscurity. I feel like there's a lack of seeing eye to eye with somebody here, Sagittarius. And somebody doesn't give a damn. They are coming forward here. They want to approach the demon. They want to move towards the situation. Okay, they want to move towards it and bring about some sort of change. So it seems. But I want to note that this... That this um, the Knight of Coins is a very, very slow moving energy. So this may actually take some time. All right, this may take some time. Let's see, tell me more about this energy here. Tell me more about this Knight of Coins. Yeah, Three of Coins, absolutely. Somebody here, like I said, somebody here is making moves. A lot of new energy. So someone's getting off their ass. Somebody here is getting off their ass, ladies and gents, and wanting to move towards reconciling, wanting to move towards collaborating, working together, seeing eye to eye is what I'm seeing here with this individual. All right, excuse the break. All right, more poison. Let's go. <clears throat> more fuel. More fuel to the fire, right? Let's see what's going on. Tell me more. So somebody here wants to approach a very daunting situation, a situation where there's possibly a lot of love, but a situation where there seems to be no communication or just a lot of confusion, a lot of lack of clarity. That's what I'm seeing here. Somebody here is, is taking a big step and wanting to, again, nurture a situation or grow a situation. So it seems to me, the Empress. Torian energy, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what's going on here with that moon energy. So maybe that, that is Piscean energy or Cancer energy. Yeah, Cancer. Let's see what's going on here. What is with this Three of Cups? You see, this is a reunion. This is the union taking place. This is the s attempt of seeing eye to eye. The attempt of seeing eye to eye. This is, you know, bringing about the balance here with the justice energy. Yeah, so somebody here wants to bring justice to a matter. They want to bring harmony. They want to reconcile. They want to fix things, is what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. Eight of coins, putting in the work, diligently putting in effort, giving up their time and their skill and their diligence to bring a situation, to bring harmony into a situation. All right, the hangman. What's with the hangman here? <clears throat> okay. So there's a lot of stagnant energy in regard to somebody. There's most certainly an individual here that isn't moving, all right? That isn't moving and you have another individual that is on the move. That's what I'm seeing here with the hangman. It's like there was a, there's a sense of isolation or a lack of clarity, a lack of communication. Somebody here is taking their time and wanting to have a new beginning with somebody else that isn't taking any action, flat out, all right? Could have been a, a terrible ending here between you and this individual that you're connecting with. I just saw the Ten of Swords. All right, let's see, Sagittarius. What is your energy towards whomever it is that you're dealing with? What is your energy towards whomever it is that you're dealing with? The King of Swords. I mean, this is thinking about thinking clearly. This is this is thinking clearly. This is thinking sharply. This is being astute. Wow, the King of Pentacles. So a lot of very mature energy here. A lot of energy of taking the high road, the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. You're definitely trying to look at things from a greater perspective is what I'm seeing here. And I mean, it's most certain that you are going through a very challenging time here with the Three of Swords. I mean, there's a massive heartbreak between you and this individual that still inflicts pain on you, Sagittarius. All right, but I'm not getting a lot of emotions here. I mean, I got the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles, two very cold energies. However, we cannot negate the fact that there's an undeniable connection between you guys. All right, a connection that has a massive three swords stuck in it. All right, that make even sense. That should make sense. Anyways, moving on. Tell me more about Sagittarius's energy towards whomever it is that they're connecting with. The Hermit. So Sagittarius, you may be in this energy of not going, not going, or moving towards whomever it is that you're dealing with. All right, you're in this real isolated energy. I feel that you're trying to heal. You're trying to heal with the Hermit. And the Six of Swords, you're definitely trying to heal whatever wounds you're dealing with when it comes to this person. All right, I feel that that is the overall energy when it comes to 
to what it is that you're exuding <clears throat> or emitting towards this person. So what I'm saying here is the five of pentacles. You're definitely not seeing eye to eye with this individual. You're not in good terms with this individual. On the contrary, whatever sort of actions you're doing simply entails distancing yourself further emotionally, physically or emotionally. I see distance. I see distance. You putting distance between you and this individual because of this massive heartbreak, because of the lack of engagement, because of the lack of seeing eye to eye, because of the lack of communication. All right. <clears throat> so it's definitely, it definitely looks like a dreadful situation. And I completely understand. Now, let's see whomever it is that Sagittarius seems to be drifting away from. What is their energy towards Sagittarius? Now, this is what you guys came for. I know this. <clears throat> I'm going to get some advice for you guys as well. All right. Let me get some advice for you guys in just a moment, but let's tune into this person's energy. Talk to me. All right, the ten of so uh, the ten of. So this individual is very overwhelmed. Let me tell you, Ooh, the lovers. Okay, the lovers. Let's get one more, and I'm gonna take a, a quick, a quick swig while I analyze this. Hmm. I'm not seeing a lot of action from this individual. <clears throat> I'm definitely seeing a lot of soulmate energy here. The lovers, the two of cups. However. When it comes to feelings, I feel that there's a lot of coldness here with the uh, Queen of Queen of Swords. Furthermore, overwhelming energy. I mean, this individual goes throughout their day just daunted and weighed and overwhelmed by what's going on between you guys. All right, you guys are definitely on this person's mind in a very negative tone. I mean, they're feeling stuck. They're feeling. So remember, I picked up this this energy of wanting to have a new beginning, and it was. It was, um, and the devil was attached to it. Remember that? This is exactly the sort of energy that I'm getting. The devil attached to this situation. All right. So let's see. <clears throat> let's move along. Tell me more about this individual's energy towards Sagittarius. Tell me more about this individual's energy towards Sagittarius. The Six of Wands. Interesting energy. Okay. What about the Six of Wands? Hmm. All right, so I get the sense. Let me let me clarify this here real quick. All right, so this individual is juggling in regards to what position they're holding and what they're gonna do. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo or another fire sign. Get the King of Wands or another Sagittarius here with the Temperance. A lot of fire energy coming from this person, but I also get the indication that this is a bit of ego. All right, it's kind of like this individual. There's a proud energy to this person here, and this is involved with their decision making when it comes to whether they should open up, whether they should remain closed off to you. All right. However, there's a huge inclination in this person to to want to have balance in the situation, to move on from whatever dispute or negativity has ensued between you guys in order to move towards this two of cups, in order to move towards this energy of union between you guys. Yep. So you're telling me that this is going to change. I feel, yeah, reconciliation. Let me see. Mm. So what I'm saying here is that there's still going to be an element of healing. There's going to be an element of isolation, an element of serious contemplation in this individual. And best believe, ladies and gents, like I mentioned earlier, you are definitely on this individual's mind. I mean, this is absolute nostalgia. All right. Heavily thinking about you all fucking day and desirous of coming forward and connecting with you. All right. So, so let's, I feel it's safe to say that somebody here is wishing upon a star for Sagittarius. Somebody here is stuck on you, flat out. Let's just say that. Somebody here is fucking going through a very challenging time, Sagittarius. And yeah, six or rather five of cups. I mean, they're just depressed. This individual is depressed. This individual is looking at a situation through an element of just sadness. They feel stuck. They feel as if you were their soulmate. That's what they feel. All right. <clears throat> and you just may be their soulmates. Let's see. Any advice here for Sagittarius? Let's get any words of wisdom. I'm going to be taking this to the extended and be looking at their next actions towards you. I'm also going to be boring into their mind. I want to look into the future vision of this person here. What, what they envision in the future with you. Okay. As of now. Mind you, when I, when I look into that and there's tumultuous energy like this, a lot of times what I pick up is, is not even a future. Like people aren't even, they can't even fucking envision a future. All right, but based on this dreamy energy and them being so desirous, I may be absolutely wrong. So <clears throat> I'm also gonna be looking at the near future of this situation and I'm gonna deconstruct their feelings in the extended. However, let's just, I'm gonna leave you with some, with a, with a positive, 
note here, something that can empower you, anything that can empower Sagittarius, anything that will facilitate Sagittarius during this time, that will facilitate them in overcoming the obstacles. You guys need to change your perspective in this situation because you also feel, or I get the indication that you guys may also be stuck on the situation. You guys may be, you know, heavily burdened by what's going on and the way the way you're looking at this situation is not good it's only fucking pressing you lower and lower and lower and just putting you in a very stuck situation ladies and gents so you guys definitely need to find a different perspective okay a different perspective of the situation and then look I, the idea that comes up to mind is really looking at this situation from from your higher self right what would your higher self say what would jesus say well Looking at it from a higher perspective can entail that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, okay? And right now there's some sort of benefit, there's some sort of lesson, there's something that you can benefit from if you were to change your perspective, okay? There's some sort of growth to, to be attained. Maybe right now is not the right time for you guys to be together. Maybe, maybe you're learning about your boundaries of what you want or what you accept in a relationship, so on and so forth. This is for you to decipher and you know what I mean? You, you guys live in your own worlds. Every, every one of you has your own mind. So. Go with what resonates, but seek the positivity, all right? And I highly recommend you guys to not necessarily neglect your feelings, okay? Do not neglect your feelings. Acknowledge them, okay? So if you are sad about somebody, acknowledge your feelings for this individual. Acknowledge whatever it is that you're feeling, okay? Because this acknowledgement will help you decompress, will help you release this ending or release this friction that, that is being prevented from moving on, Okay? So feel, analyze, scrutinize, and as you do this, turn your perspective around towards something better, towards something positive. All right, use your mind as a tool. Use your mind as a tool to change your reality because you change your inner reality, ladies and gents. You change the way you're experiencing life and your external reality changes with it. All right, you want to experience a change in your life? Well, you got to have that change within yourself. All right. So Sagittarius, I'm taking this to the extended and I'm diving into your person. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, Sag, it's a pleasure as always. I'll see you next time.